Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode on Service Desk. Today, uh, I'll be taking you through the top five skills that you need to have as a data analyst in 2023. Number one, SQL, otherwise known as the Structured Query Language. As a data analyst, being able to retrieve and manipulate data from a database is very crucial. And that is why you need to learn uh, SQL or otherwise known as SQL. This is a very important programming language for any data analyst to be able to query the various and multiple um, relational databases that exist. Some of the key uh, uh, relational databases that you can be able to query could be Oracle, Microsoft SQL Server or MySQL. MySQL is uh, an open source database that you can be able to even install on your machine and play around with. So if you want to start uh, learning uh, structured query language, all you need to do is you can go to some of the websites that exist such as uh, W3Schools and then you should be able to start. For more resources, uh, check out the link in the description below. Number two, data visualization. As a data analyst, you are involved daily in transforming data into actionable insights for the business. So it's very important that you learn to use some of the data visualization tools. Some of the tools that exist uh, include, but not limited to, um, Microsoft Excel, which is normally under overlooked by, by most people, but it's a very powerful tool that you can use to do a data visualization if you do not have the budget to purchase a, a commercial data visualization tools. However, we have other tools like uh, Tableau. Uh, we also have um, Microsoft Power BI, which is becoming very popular still from Microsoft. And then we also have Oracle BI from Oracle. We also have other tools which we'll be sharing in the description below. You can have a look at it. And then we'll also be sharing a link to some of the sites where you can easily get started with using these tools. Number three, business acumen. A good data analyst not only understands how to use data, but also how it relates to the business. Now, with a great understanding of how uh, data can be used to drive uh, business operations, then you are likely to ask better questions if you understand how the business actually operates. And this is very advantageous and very crucial a skill to have as a data analyst. Number four is programming. I know most people shy away from programming, especially when it comes to business experts. R and Python are some of the popular programming uh, languages that are useful for data analysts. R is well known for uh, its um, strength as a statistical language, while Python is a very versatile programming language that allows you not only to do data wrangling, but also be able to build machine learning models. And as a business analyst, it's important that you're also able to build machine learning models and even understand existing machine learning models for you to be able to improve them and manipulate and use them. Number five is data storytelling and communication. As a good data analyst, you're not only responsible for coming up with nice looking visuals for the business, but also communicating to them. Now, for you to do that, you need to improve your communication skills as well as your data presentation skills. Some of the presentation skills are developed and enhanced by doing regular PowerPoint presentations. Uh, you can do that to your teammates or even uh, be involved more in the presentation meetings that happen in the organization. And with that, you should be able to learn a thing or two. Data storytelling now involves you organizing your charts and visuals in a nice and uh, sequential way so that uh, the business is able to not only understand the root cause of a problem, but move them from the root cause of the problem all the way to the solution. And with this, you will be uh, adding more value to the business. In conclusion, um, I think uh, having a grasp or mastering the skills we've talked about as a data analyst will go a long way in giving you an edge uh, over your peers and also staying updated with uh, the current technological trends in the world, including things that are coming up such as machine learning and even data governance and ethics will help you continually grow and become a, data, a better data analyst. Until the next episode, see you and thank you for your time. Goodbye.